Hello everyone, welcome back to our video class here at CZ Math Tutor. We're looking at transformations, and in this lesson we're talking about translations. So first we want to describe a translation. We want to calculate the coordinates of an image, given the object and the translation vector. And we want to perform a translation on graph paper. We're going to be doing a bunch of these. And four, we're going to determine the translation vector given an object and image. And then we're going to describe a translation, a transformation as a translation. We'll be doing these two um, together. Uh, let's jump into it then. A translation, and we use T for translation, is a transformation in which all the points in the object are moved in a straight line. This is important. And especially in the same direction. This is also important um, when it comes to distinguishing um, what transformation we're talking about. It may be described as a push. So think about taking something and pushing it along a straight line or on a diagonal line. And that is exactly what a translation is. You may also describe it as a slide or a shift. Translations um, are isometric. And isometric means that everything about the shape is preserved apart from its position. So the area is the same, the lengths are the same, the angles are the same, and the orientation. Now, um, here we're going to look at how to calculate the, the um, images of a point of a triangle given its translation vector. So here we have a question. Uh, the triangle ABC with vertices A, 1, 5, B, 2, negative 1, and C, 4, 3, is mapped onto triangle A prime, B prime, C prime by a translation T, 4, 3. And this is normally how your translation would be written. Calculate the vertices of the image A prime, B prime, C prime. So we have a, slight, a, a little equation that we use. We say the object, I might as well mention it here, plus the translation, um equals the image so object plus translation equal image i'm going to short it object plus translation um, gives us the image so let's use that um, basic idea to work it out so we're going to write these points as column matrices so a we're going to write a as one five b as 2, negative 1, and C as 4, 3. And what we're pretty much going to do is just to add the translation vector um, to each one. So we're going to add 4, 3, and you work it out as if you were working out matrices. Same idea. So we're adding 4, 3 to each of them. Now in this one, when we add 1 plus 4 here, we get 5. And 5 plus 3 here, we get 8. And I'm writing it back in coordinate form. So this would be A prime. Now for B prime, we're going to add 2 plus 4 here. And I get 6. And 3 plus 1, 3 plus negative 1 gives me 2. And so this is B prime. And then we add these two. 4 plus 4. I'm going to write it first as 8. Um, 4 plus 4 is 8, and 3 plus 3 is 6 here. Um, when you're writing the coordinates, remember the question says calculate the vertices, and the vertices are coordinates, so do not leave your answer like this. Remember to write your answer in coordinate form, which is to write it 8, 6. So we have worked out the, um, the vertices of the image using the original triangle. So these are the object points and these would be the image points. Now what would be left is for you to take these and put them on your graph paper if needed and to make the triangle, that is the image of triangle ABC. So this is how it's done. You add your vector to your, to your object points to get your um, image points. Now let's look at how to perform the translation on the graph. Here we can write down these coordinates and add them so this point here would be negative 2, negative 5. This one is negative 6, negative 5. And this coordinate here is negative 6, negative 2. So we could write them out and then add the translation vector 
to each one to get the new image. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be showing you how to move it across the paper by counting. So I'm going to be using three different vectors to move this triangle three different places. So the first vector is 0, 7. And the 0, 7 means that we're going to go 0 units in the x direction, because the first number is x, txy means that the first number is x and the second number is y. And I should point out, going this way is negative. Going that way on the graph is positive. Going up is positive, as you notice on the coordinate plane. And going down is negative. So notice how the numbers are arranged on your axis. This is your y-axis, your x-axis. So going up is positive. Going um, um, left, right. And we notice the numbers there. So we are going to go zero units in the positive, positive, positive direction and seven units up. So zero units for x, seven for y, which means that we're going to take this triangle and just basically push it up. So let's start with this point. Go seven units up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is going to become our first one. So we're going to call it um, Q prime right here. Um, take this point, go seven, in, 7 up, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and that's where we land. And then we could notice that this is 1, 2, 3, 4 boxes across, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4 boxes across. Or you could count it 7 units up just the same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and once you've done that, then you can draw your triangle. So if you have your graph paper and you have your vector, um, you do not need to add the image points to the vector. You can simply shift it around by counting. And so that's Q prime. This is um, P prime. And this is R prime. Now we're going to do a second one, which is to use this vector. And this vector says go 8 units in the positive direction and none up. So we're going to go 8 units in the positive direction, which means to starting at the back here. Let's move eight units in the positive direction, which is this. So we're going to go starting here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Starting at the front here, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And of course, here, this point, we're going to count eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And of course, remember, you could add them. Um, right now, I prefer to count it by showing you how to count it and get it done. And then let's draw our triangle. Once you draw your triangle, always remember to label your triangle. So since this is a second image, we're going to be calling it um, P double prime. This is Q double prime. And this is R double prime. So you could add the vector 8, 0 to negative 2, 5, and it will bring you here. All right, now we're going to take this triangle and push it in a diagonal line. So this one went up, this one went across, and now we're going to go diagonally. So we want to use this vector 8, 6 to push this triangle across the page like that. And it means we're going to count now in two directions. We're going to count 8 units in the positive direction and 6 units in the positive direction for y. So 8 units for, positive, for x and um, 6 units for y. So let's start with this one. Let's count eight units for the x. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we go up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that lands us here. <clears throat> um, this one, let's count across eight units and then six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and there it lands us there. On the top one, go across the same eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so now that we have counted, we can draw in our triangle. And here we go. There is our triangle. Let's label it. So using T, 8, 6, that's what got, got us here. Um, or third image, this would be P, triple prime, um, R, triple prime, and Q, triple prime.
So if you have a graph paper and you're doing your translation, you do not need to add it. You can add it. And for example, adding, let's use this point, for example. Let's use um, R. So R is the point negative 2, negative 5. So R is negative 2, negative 5. And we want to add to that 8, 6. And when you add those, 8 plus negative 2 gives you 6. And 6 plus negative 5 gives you 1. And the coordinate would be 6, 1. Notice that that's what we get here. The coordinate here for R triple prime is 6, 1. So adding it works. If you have graph paper and you just want to count it and push it across, then fine. Notice something else that I want you to see here is that when you take, if, it, if you should take a ruler and connect the, the points, so you connect Q to its image, you connect um, R to its image, and you connect P to its image. Notice that these lines are all parallel to each other. So it's you're taking it pretty much from here and pushing it in a straight line, and it goes all across um, the, um, the page across like that. So a, a vector is used to do, to do a translation. A translation is pretty much a push. So you either push the object up or across or in a, in a diagonal line like that. All right. Now let's move on to some CXE questions. And here, the question simply says, describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle D. Now this is triangle A. And here is triangle D. So the question is, how did this triangle get up here? Um, it is a translation, but what we want to do is to determine um, what the what the vector is. And we are going to start by saying the transformation. Um, remember, when you are answering these questions, you should answer in a sentence. The transformation is a translation. And you should state the vector. All right, so it's a translation. You pretty much push it up there that, um, diagonally, push it like that, and it goes from here to here. Now, how do we determine what the what the um, the vector is? Now, since A is the object, and D is the image because it maps A to D. Um, this is the image then you want to count from the object. So let's choose this point on the object and choose the same point on the image. And to get from here to here, we have to go across like this. And, and then we go up like that. So let's count how many units across we have in this direction. Notice your scale is one to one, so it's one, two, three. So it's three units across in this direction. Remember this direction is X. And we're going to go up one, two, three, four units in that direction. It will be the same for all of them. If you notice that if you count one, two, three here, and then one, two, three, four, it will give you the same result. So the vector is going to be t um, three units in the x direction and four units in the y direction. And so in answering the question, describe fully a single transformation which maps triangle A onto triangle D, you simply say, the transformation is a translation once you recognize that it is, and then you state the vector, and you would get your full marks for that part of the question. Let's look at another one. Here we have a similar question. The figure P undergoes a translation transformation such that its image is Q. Describe this transformation completely, and notice there the completely. So looking at it again, you can notice that it is pulled down on the paper, P to Q, this is the object. This is the image, it's pulled down. And so we can say, safely say that the transformation um, is a translation that gives you part of the mark, but you now you need to say what the, what the vector is. Using vector, um, now we need to go figure out the vector. So let's pick a point on our object and pick a point in our image. Let's use this point corresponding to this point down here. Now to get from here to here, we will need to go across here and then we go down like that. So 
we would go across two units. Notice that your scale again, one, two, so it's one to one. So you go across two in this direction. Remember this direction is X. And then you go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we go down seven. And because we're going down, that means that we're using a negative number. So our vector is going to end up being two, negative seven. You can test it along with the other points. It will be the same um, regardless of which point you choose. So for example, if you choose, if you, if you wanted to use this point here, now this point um, would correspond to this point. Make sure that you pick a corresponding point and look at it in terms of how do I get from here to here? Well, I have to go down that way and then I have to go across. So I go down, I go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which means I'm going down seven, that's negative seven. And I'm going across one, two, which means a positive two. Remember this is X and that is Y. So the X number is written first. So it's two, negative seven. All right. So now that we have answered those, let's look at two other questions and then we wrap this up. So here is a multiple choice item and it says in the diagram above the translation in which AB is mapped onto A prime B prime is represented by, and we want to know which of these. So look at the diagram, remember our little equation, object plus translation gives you image. So what is our object? Our object A moves 2, 5, moves to 4, 6. So you can use this or you can um, count it out. So 2, 5 plus x, y gives you 4, 6. Here it is. And so all that we need to say now is that x, y is equal to 4, 6, take away 2, 5. And so we have x, y being equal to 4 take away 2 is 2, and 6 take away 5 is 1. And so we see our answer being B. Okay, let's look at the other one. The image of the point P, negative 3, 2, under the translation 2, 1 is. So first, remember, let's write down object plus translation gives us image. And so object is negative three, two. So we're going to write it as a column matrix, negative three, two, and then add our, our translation, which is two, one. And once we add these two, negative three plus two gives us negative one, and two plus one gives us three. Now let's write that as a coordinate, and that gives us negative one comma three. And so we find our answer at C. Remember that you can find more practice material at csigmatfuture.com. Look in the past paper section, the practice papers, and you will find a lot of material in there that you can use to further develop your skills and your learning. Please subscribe, share with somebody who needs to learn this material, who doesn't understand it, and continue to learn and grow as you progress and prepare for your exams. Thank you for watching.